Hey guys, it's time for another Math Easy Solution. Today what we're going to do is go over the difference between deodorant and antiperspirants. The difference is quite subtle, but it's really important, and uh, we're going to break it down really quick right here. So the first thing is, what causes body odor in the first place? Um, because sweat actually doesn't have a scent. But what happens is when it, the sweat is getting broken down by the bacteria that's in the area, this breaking down process, it actually causes the unpleasant uh, body odor. So now we're going to head into the differences between deodorant and antiperspirant. First, uh, deodorant, the actual function of it is to use chemicals that helps eliminate and kill all the bacteria that's on the skin in that area. Usually it contains a scented perfume as well to mask the remaining odor. Right, and the key thing is here, it does not interfere with the body's natural sweating process. Basically what that means is it doesn't stop you from sweating. That's important for deodorant. But now we get back to the um, antiperspirants. The function of them is slightly different. Um, it actually uses aluminum salts to physically block sweat glands from releasing moisture. So it actually reduces the amount of sweat um, that the bacteria has to break down. So this reduces your total amount of sweat and therefore reduces your body odor as well. Um, like deodorants, uh, they also have scented perfumes that mask odor further, right? But the key thing is, you're probably going to be wondering, which one should you be using? Um, to be honest with you, most of the experts, they reveal that the best way is to try them out for yourself and see which one suits your body's chemistry better. Um, but in general, most people like to look at it this way. Heavier sweaters may lean towards antiperspirants because it reduces the overall moisture that's on your skin. So it won't um, be visible under your underarms when you're wearing a t-shirt or something like that. Whereas uh, low to moderate, moderate sweaters may prefer deodorant strictly just for the odor protection um, if they are looking to reduce to, uh, the total amount of moisture, right? And just a key note here, uh, there's a lot of two-in-one products that have the deodorant ingredients as well as the antiperspirant inside. Uh, just keep that in mind as well. So another thing we're going to talk about really quick is are over-the-counter deodorants and antiperspirants safe to use? And, um, you know, the... The research is pretty divided, but for deodorants, not so much. They agree that it's pretty much safe, um, but the antiperspirants, that's where things get a little bit more tricky. Um, some studies have suggested that there's uh, links between aluminum compounds found in antiperspirants uh, actually to breast cancer and Alzheimer's disease, but the evidence it has not been conclusive. Uh, but although it hasn't been conclusive, many people choose to avoid antiperspirants uh, completely. Um, I got a quote here from bodyandhealth.com.canada.com. Uh, so far, the FDA and the American Cancer Society and the National Cancer Institute have uh, said that no existing scientific or medical evidence has been found to link the products to breast cancer. So, um, you know, there hasn't been conclusive evidence about that. A lot of people like to stay away from antiperspirants, but for the most part, they, they should be fine. Uh, I would say test out deodorants and antiperspirants for yourself. See which one works better for you. And that's pretty much the difference between the two guys. Thanks.